Hi, this is Mahesh Ravi. So this is the second part of um, the Cinema 4D Donut tutorial. So in the first video, we have modeled a uh, donut. And in the second video, we're going to use rigid body systems to animate these donuts. So to start the project, what I have done here is that I have two versions of the donut. One is a high resolution version. So if you have seen the first video, you'll know that how uh, the first version is actually made. Uh, we have a subdivision modifier applied to the whole uh, object, the model. And we have a low resolution version right next to it. So this doesn't have a subdivision modifier and it is using very low polygon count to create this uh, donut shape. So it's basically the, the same model, one with subdivision and textures applied to it and one without the textures and without a subdivision modifier. So what we're going to do is we're going to simulate the rigid body systems with the low resolution donut and once after that is done we will replace the low resolution donut with the high resolution uh, donut right here. This proxy workflow will help you reduce the you know, impact on your system, the hardware, uh, you can do the simulation much faster and as you are only replacing the uh, high quality model at the last phase before you render out, you are not wasting any time. Your uh, system is going to be much more stable in this process. So let's get started with that. So before we do this, I am going to take the high resolution donut model and just hide it by clicking on these buttons. We are not able to see the high quality model here. Now what I'm going to do is, I will take the low resolution model and this is what we are going to use for our simulation. So we need multiple copies of this because we are going to emulate a free fall of a couple of donuts from the sky. That's the animation that we are planning. So to do that, we need multiple copies of this. So I'm going to go to MoGraph Cloner and select our low res donut and put that into the model. So we can see that it's already creating a couple of clones. We can go to the cloner and we can change the values. So I can, I'm going to change the mode to grid array. So we can see the model as grid array right now. And I can change the whole size of it so we can see uh, this separately. Just pull it apart like that. We can bring it up. So I'm going to bring it up like this. So we have our clones. You can have any number of clones as we want. I, I just need uh, this much, so I'm gonna go with this. So we have it, everything is set. Now we need to say that our cloner is basically a rigid body. So I'm gonna right click this, go to simulation tag and click on a rigid body. You can see the tag which gets attached to it. So it says that's rigid body. And then the floor right here, we need to say that that is a collider body. So go to simulation tags and select collider body. So we have a floor and the cloner set. Now if you click play, the simulation is going to happen. So there are a couple of problems in the simulation because the entire cloner is taken as one solid object. We don't want that. We want the cloner to see each donut as an individual element. So to do that, I'm going to go to cloner and we will go to the collision under the rigid body tag and we're going to change the individual elements from off to top level. Now every element in here is going to act as an individual uh, donut. So now if you simulate that, you can see. So uh, it creates an interesting simulation like that. Now that's what we want. If you want more parameters to be tweaked, you can just go to the collision. You can change your bounce, value of friction, all those stuff. But I think this is fine for us to uh, proceed. Now, uh, before you render the sequence, one thing, because once you're happy with the simulation, it copied multiple times, it is calculating the simulation, everything is done. Now, one part which is missing is that you need to replace this low resolution versions with a higher resolution uh, donut, right? So that's pretty simple. What you have to do is, you just go to the whole donut in here, 
this is the high resolution. So you basically just delete the low resolution uh, from the cloner, and then you take the high resolution version, drag it inside the cloner. This is already here. You just turn on the visibility, and you can see now that your low resolution donuts are replaced by high quality donuts. Now if you simulate, it's going to take a little more time because it's rendering all the high quality polygons, all the high quality um, collisions, but the result is going to be amazing. If you like the video, please subscribe and share the video, like it, spread the word. I will see you soon with a new video. Bye.